Welcome to the video on first and second differences in your uh, dependent variable. So now recall, so independent variables are basically drawn in in your x-axis and then your dependent variables are drawn on your y-axis. So if you have them, that's what they would be. Now, of course, they don't have to be x and y. They can be any quantity that you like. Now, in this situation, all I wanna explain in this video is the simplicity of what really the uh, first difference and then what the second difference is. Uh, compare it to the slope and then also tell you what you can tell from the first difference. Uh, in particular, uh, if you can see right away if um, graph is linear or it is nonlinear. Now, on uh, linear and nonlinear okay, graphs, that was the topic in relations. I'm gonna put a link, link up above there, okay? So for those who wanna watch it, uh, which I go over those linear and nonlinear graphs, okay? So I will assume that you have watched it or you know it. So now, for the first difference, the key thing is, is that when you are looking in your x, Okay, so in your independent variable, so if you're looking at this particular column, what you have to always first ensure that the difference, so difference basically is the subtraction between two different numbers. So the difference here, so if you notice that if I take the difference between here, and if I take the difference between here, and then here, and here, so notice that they are increasing by exactly the same amount. So from negative one to one, it's going up two, from one to three, two, from three to five, two, and so on. So your independent variable, so your x, has to have the same change, and then you can calculate the first difference. So the first difference, really, all that your first difference is, is you take your dependent variable, your y, and all you will do is you will basically subtract. So you will take three minus, now it's negative two, all right? So three minus negative two, and you will get your first difference. And in this case, it's going to be five, because notice the negative and the negative becomes positive. And now you do that, okay, to basically all of the different values that you have within your table that are given. So if I go and I take now the second one, so if I take the first difference here, so eight minus three, notice it's again equal to five. And if I do that here, so 13 minus eight, again, it is equal to five. And then 18 minus 13, again, equal to five. All right, so notice that all of them are equal to five. Now, are they always gonna be equal? No, that's exactly what you're checking if you wanna see if your first difference, okay, is basically identical or it is not. Now, if it is identical, then great, because right away you know that just by that, if that first difference is constant, it's the same, so in this case it's five, then you know that if you would graph this, you basically get a linear graph or a linear line. And if they are not the same, then you know that it's a nonlinear line, okay? Or nonlinear graph. Now, what about the second difference? So sometimes students don't really run into the second difference as much, but it is exactly the same. So you can take the differences and I just wanted to throw it in here. So the second difference all that it is, is basically now taking your first difference and then subtracting those. So notice, the first difference was five all the way throughout. So any second difference that you take, okay, and now you're using the subtraction of that first difference, so five minus five is equal to zero. And you're going to get that all the way down as your second difference because you have a linear graph. So in your linear graph, your second difference is always going to be zero. All right, so that's a nice key feature to have. So that's just your first difference and your second difference, okay? So if you're given a graph or a table, you can basically just work with your dependent variable, your y, 
and then subtract to C. But before you start doing that, make sure that your independent variable, so your X, okay, changes by exactly the same amount. Now, it doesn't have to change by two like it's changed here. It could just simply be a zero, one, two, three, four, and that means it was changing just by one. Okay, so I hope that makes uh, sense and now you understand what the first difference and second difference is. And again, remember that your first difference actually will tell you if it's a line or if it's a nonlinear graph. Okay, and if I take the first two points, so if I'm going to take the first two points from here, so if I take negative one and negative two and one and three and I graph them, so I graph them right here. So notice right here, so this is negative one, okay, and negative two two, so that's what we had there, that was our first one, and then our second one was one and three, so that was our second one right here, okay? So you notice that basically it is just simply a line, and if you would graph all the other ones, you would notice that you get a line, and the reason why I knew it was a line, because of the first difference being the same. Now, how does that first difference compare to your slope? Well, your first difference, okay, in terms of your slope, okay, basically is you take whatever your first difference is, that is your rise, all right? So that is your rise, how quickly something is rising or falling, that's your first difference, okay? And remember that slope, M, is equal to your rise over your run. All right, so in this case, what we would have had is if we did this, we would get five over two, okay, as our slope. And this right here was your first difference that we had from this graph. And this right here, okay, that is how your X has been changing. So your X has changed from negative one to one, which basically moved by two, okay? So that was your run. All right, so that's all that I'm gonna say here. Uh, and now you can connect your slope, you can connect your first difference, and you can connect it even to rates, right? Rates of change. Um, so that you can kind of combine them all and hopefully uh, understand that what these things are. All right. Okay. Thanks for watching. Um, and we'll see you in a future video. Okay. Cheers.